Okay, so question one, solve this differential equation. So this looks like it's probably going to be an exact equation, so we're going to need to integrate both of those things. Exact equations can come from, if this is dy dx, this bit is always going to be like fy, so you have fy then dy dx, and this bit will be fx, so then you have dx dx, which is one there. So integrate that fy in terms of in terms of y, so yeah, that becomes what y cubed minus what um, four x squared y plus a constant that can have terms of x in it, and you integrate as f x that becomes three x uh, minus four x squared y. Okay, so this thing must be equal. So we're going to need this extra 3x on this side and this extra y cubed on that side. So that's what f is. And then it's equal to a constant because this the derivative of it is equal to 0. That's what the differential equation is saying. So the thing's equal to constant and that's the solution. And it doesn't look like a thing we want to bother solving for y because you know, y cubed to, to, to cubic, that's not nice to solve. Okay, that's all. Let's just write that down neatly. So, question one. So the differential equation to solve was 3 minus 8xy. 3 minus 8xy plus 3y squared. 3y squared minus 4x dy dx equals 0. So that's the same as you said fx plus fy dy dx equals 0. So that means that f must equal. Was there only 3 minus 8x? Just 3. Yeah, it was. Okay, that means f will equal 3x. 3x minus 4x squared y. And the other one, the other term, the fy, gives you an extra term of y cubed, and then that 4x is the same as the... Is it 4x or is it 4x squared? You got fewer it's 4x squared x squared uh, 4 x squared that gives you the minus 4 x squared y term and that's 3 x which is like so far as the y content is constant and that equals to some some constant any constant that's those start the family of solutions to this equation and that's it